Daniel Goldman, uh, a poll saying 53% of voters believe that Clarence Thomas should not be involved in any of these cases. Only 28% think it's okay for him to be involved in these cases. Uh, I know the Supreme Court doesn't make it their business to regularly read polls, but they are all going to read that one. This is the problem with the Clarence Thomas situation. I, I think what we now have seen is that he should have recused himself from the archives case, and he should recuse himself going forward. But the problem is, is that he didn't. So to recuse himself now going forward is an admission that he improperly ruled in that case. And I can conceive of no situation where Clarence Thomas or, or any Supreme Court justice would be willing to admit that he should have recused previously and did not, because that will taint himself far greater than if he just ignores the poll. So yes, of course he should recuse, uh, and he should have recused. Uh, I, the, the issue as to whether or not her texts were included in the batch of information or whether he knew about the details of her text messages with Mark Meadows, it's really irrelevant. Clarence Thomas has a duty to make sure that he is completely impartial and that his he recuses if there's any involvement of a spouse in any matter that comes before him. And he did not do that. But I don't expect him to do it now going forward. And so he's just going to continue to taint the reputation and the independence of the Supreme Court. And Claire, it's it's a lot more than uh, tainting the reputation. It's violating the law. Uh, Professor Tribe has identified the federal law that says uh, that a justice must not ever participate in a case that involves a spouse in any way, even in an indirect way. And now from this from, you know, several days forward, uh, Clarence Thomas can never, ever, ever claim that he did not know that his wife was involved in this, because even if he doesn't speak to his wife, uh, Bob Woodward's reporting has spoken to him. Uh, and it is public information that his wife is deeply involved. The law says that Clarence Thomas cannot participate in these cases. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's as plain as the nose on his face that he should have recused himself under the law. The question is an enforcement mechanism. And the Supreme Court doesn't think they need an enforcement mechanism. Well, I disagree. Clearly they do. Clearly they need someone enforcing the rule because Clarence Thomas didn't think it applied to him. And that's very dangerous, especially on the highest court in the land. Um, we're going to get a Supreme Court justice confirmed tomorrow. Um, um, by the 53, as you mentioned, and it will be a great day. And hopefully the new justice will set a great example for Clarence Thomas in terms of paying close attention to the ethics rules of serving on the highest court in the land. Claire, it's going to be one of those roll call votes where I'm sitting there watching every single name that's counted uh, at every moment it comes in.